quickly revisit the story that we had uh, broken a short while back uh, where we said that uh, the Operation Mission Shakti was in fact a, a project that was being supervised by the National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, in fact a project that was very close uh, uh, to his heart and a, a pet project as far as Ajit Doval is concerned. And in fact uh, to talk more about that with me here uh, uh, in the studio is uh, uh, Athir Khan. Uh, our executive editor to really take us through some of the details uh, that he has picked up. Go ahead, Atir. Well, you see, uh, Gauri, uh, we can understand the kind of significance uh, uh, which is being attached to this program, and none other than the Prime Minister himself made this announcement. Uh, but we, we, we will have to take through our viewers as to why this is so important. Mm. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't just another uh, uh, operation mm. or mission uh, in the in the outer space. Mm. Uh, there was a background to it. You know how it came all came through. Uh, let me just give you a brief of how <coughs> it all started. It was in 2007. Mm. China had carried out a similar mission, which was of course a big uh, you know sort of uh, uh, which was criticized worldwide mm. because the kind of uh, aftermath. You know the debris it has uh, 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 left, left but, behind. Yes. But but the larger question was that after one year after it carried out this test. Uh, it, along with Russia, had come up with this treaty in which mm. it said that, you know, there was a prevention of deployment of arms in outer space mm. for other countries. Right. Uh, so, in a way, uh, India would have been deprived mm. of uh, this capability. Uh, uh, and it was then that NSA Ajit Doval, who uh, was uh, at that point of time, perhaps he should have been in uh, Vivekanand Foundation, uh, he felt peeved that why should India be deprived of this capability, which is absolutely crucial mm. for the national security and uh, and the development, the okay. geospatial uh, you know sort of development. Uh, it was then uh, that you know these two countries came up with this uh, treaty, draft treaty, but it was opposed. Let mm. me tell you, Gauri, by the U.S. at that point of time and several other countries. Uh, but uh, you know, still they were. Uh, um, pushing through this, uh, you know, sort of uh, treaty, uh, but uh, at just at the right moment when uh, uh, the NSA was capable of doing it, he had the support okay. and and the capability. He had discussed this matter with the Prime Minister, and Prime Minister himself gave a go ahead to him okay. and, and commissioned him to form a team which will carry All out right. this mission. And we know that Chairman of uh, DRDO, Satish Reddy, was also involved. And then, in a very confidential manner, this entire mission was carried out. Okay. Then let me let me ask you this: that uh, you you saying this is a project that was very close to Ajit Doval's heart. He was very uh, uh, carefully examining it. He was very much in charge of this. Then help us understand that when the prime minister uh, when prime minister modi came to power when exactly this project took the shape that it did and you know talk to us more about the last four years uh, or, the, or the last five years when ajit doval of course was taking care of this project where well, you see the seeds were sown in back in 2008 itself hmm. and he he started working on it you know because he he was working for the think tank and it was at the back of his mind then but then when he came uh, uh, in, 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 into the position of the national security advisor, he had that advantage yes. to to uh, to to uh, to make it come through, and uh, he had been working ever since. And but it involved a lot of technology, a lot of precision, uh, and a zero uh, you know tolerance as far as any uh, mistake goes. Uh, so it had to be worked out very very uh, uh, meticulously, and uh, along with the uh, with the team of scientists of DRDOs. Uh, who were working on it, he, uh, the major aspect being the security aspect, that it should be carried out with full precision. And uh, it, it wasn't just uh, you know, one angle of security, it involved uh, diplomacy also at the international level. Uh, by, by carrying out a mission of this magnitude, you send out a, uh, a message to the world that India is capable now, mm. it will intercept or distract any enemy satellite which will harm us. Uh, so that was the larger message he wanted to send, and and, and, and thankfully today it was carried out. And how large how large was this team that Ajit Doval had formed, uh, who all were part of it? You know, if you could talk to us more about that, uh, uh, you know, to shed us shed more light into the the team that worked along with Ajit Doval. Well, uh, <laughs> they, they, there was a big team which was working, and along with all the. 
uh, members of National Security Advisory Board. Let me tell you, they were all involved in this mission. And other than them, there were a number of uh, DRDO scientists mm. uh, who were serving and former scientists who were behind this uh, mission. Uh, because uh, it, it also involved a lot, it involved a political will, you see, uh, since the Prime Minister in principle had agreed to this mission, uh, uh, Ajit Dual had a full uh, say in this uh, operation because uh, it was a strategic mm. decision and therefore uh, when it comes to strategic decisions it is the NSA and the Prime Minister who closely uh, you know, sort of work out uh, missions like this. So uh, it, it, it was a big team indeed in which uh, all the members of the National Security Advisory Board who have served the nation in various positions in uh, secur uh, security departments, they were part of it and, uh, and a big team of scientists of DRDO who are also involved. And also now talk to us about the last couple of days, you know, leading up to the uh, uh, to the successful launch of this entire, you know, anti-satellite <coughs> missile ASA. Tell us the last two, three days when, of course, you know, it would be critical to ensure that the uh, mission was successful. Well, absolutely. These were, uh, uh, this was a crucial time when uh, you had to carry out an outer space mission, mm. which has a national security ramification. It has to be perfect in all, uh, in terms of uh, science, in terms of security, and also, let me tell you, uh, a lot of diplomacy mm. is involved in, in a mission of, uh, of magnitude like this. Because you have to take your friendly countries in confidence, mm. uh, and, uh, you know, uh, at certain level you share that confidence with those countries, and then you tell them that you are planning. So, so my sources are telling me that, you know, they could have been uh, sources are telling me that you know they could have been uh, uh, they could have been such a such an exercise where uh, you know several countries were also taken into confidence before carrying it. But uh, it was a top secret mission, uh, which was uh, 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 none of this information was leaked ever since the NSA uh, uh, you know thought of uh, going ahead with such a mission. All right, we leave it there, Rathir. Appreciate you joining us with that inside dope as far as mission Shakti is concerned.